and welcome to another exciting episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Special K, and tonight we're doing another beer and booze hunting video. Today we're going to be at the Liquor Barn uh, on Shelbyville Road. This one's in a uh, high-end part of town, so they should have some fancy stuff. Let's go ahead and get started on our tour. Got some Evan Williams there. $22.98, it's not bad for a half gallon. Hammer Mill, actually haven't had that one. It's one we need to review on the show. We got some Tito's there, $28.99. Pretty solid price for a handle. Um, nice thing to note about uh, Liquor Barns is they're, they're a chain in Kentucky, um, but they do price match, um, like Total Wine and stuff like that. And I have noticed that Total Wine is generally like a buck or two dollars cheaper on their bottles and anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar cheaper on their beer. And Liquor Barn will match that, so it's never a bad... Uh, Bet I did to check the uh, websites just to make sure if you're trying to save a buck or two. Got some more wine. Uh, now, we're not wine guys. The guys, You guys watching our channel know that. We don't do a lot of that. Got some more High Noon Sun Sips. Got some uh, tequila ones there. Trying some beer cheese. If you go to Liquor Barns on Saturdays, they actually do uh, free uh, samples of a lot of stuff. Beer, alcohol, and food, of course. Getting into the box wines. Gotta love them. I'll get you where you need to be. Near beer and fake liquor right here. We've got some O'Doyles, O'Doyles, Bush, and a few other um, near beers there. On to the uh, cocktails and malt beverages here. Got some Truly Vodka Seltzers, our Twisted Teas, some more Trulies, Seltzers Erwer. All the Seltzers. Some hard kombucha right there. Um, and there's another hard kombucha coming up soon. That New Amsterdam wild card. Um, it was okay. We uh, had a review of that not too long ago. Topo Chico. There is a spicy canned margarita with tequila. That's a one to add to the list. Some Blue Moon. Got our 420 Sweetwater there. Um, they sent us a uh, box of their beers not too long ago. Got our Founders here. All Day IPA Centennial there. We've got some uh, Two Hearted Ale as well. There's our Great Lakes stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Great Lakes, solid brewery though. Fathead, never been a huge fan of Fathead. West 6, they're a local brewery out of Lexington. Um, they just opened up a new one here in Louisville, Kentucky. So if you're looking for places to go, you're in town for Derby, definitely check out Country Boy Brewing or West 6. Um, those are really good places to check out. Uh, Kentucky Ale and Alltech are great too, but those are in Lexington. Got some mad tree down there. Some Rhine guys, beer for humans. Against the grain, there's our country boy. And they're always doing seasonals and collabs too, and they do some good solid stuff. Uh, we got our shiner there, Trail Ale. Got some Mardi Gras box still down there. That's pretty old. But I mean, I normally see uh, Christmas beers in stores like this until like February or March. It's not uncommon. Torpedo there, Sierra Nevada. Got some Three Floyds, Deschutes, some Rug, Honey Kolsch, some Avery, Anderson Valley, High Wire right there. Some more Three Floyds. Gumball Head in a 12 pack. I never thought I'd see that. They're really trying on the um, Black Sabbath right there, aren't they? Got some Angry Orchard, Woodchuck, sort of ciders. Does anybody remember when ciders were popular? Like, the craze before seltzers were ciders. There were so many different ciders out there. Um, you know, we were getting import ciders from Europe. Stella Artois made ciders. We had Smith & Ford ciders. They were everywhere. And then they all just disappeared. The only ones you really see now are Woodchuck, Ace, and um, the uh, Angry Orchard. Got a Modelo here. Some Hofbrau, some Morsteiner. 
Karen Ichiban and Corona. These awful things right here, these Jim Beam Kentucky coolers. Um, I don't think they're gonna take off. I think this they'll probably flop. They were not good. I think they messed up not using Jim Beam in them. I mean, making a malt beverage. I mean, it looks like a. It looks if you look at it, it looks like it has Jim Beam in it, but it does not. Got some Moon Tucky Cold Snaps there. Going to the single section. Some Voodoo Ranger, some Zombie Dust, some Languinitas. Some more Country Boy and Ryan Geist. Some more Dos Equis. There's actually a Guinness Blonde. You don't see those very often, at least around us. I've never seen a, a big high noon like that. I've only ever seen the 12-ounce cans. So some more local stuff here. Some against the grain. Some more Rheingeist. Um, there's our high wire stuff. There's a red hot cherry sour ale. We picked one of those up. We should have a review of that out soon. It's our founder stuff. Nothing crazy. They did just come out with something called a day cap. It's a uh, beer aged in tequila barrels. Um, we did pick that one up. I didn't pick it up here, but we'll have a review out of that as well soon. There's some uh, corpus paint. Black metal. Oh, wow. That is a very... This is stolen from Metallica 100%. Ride the haze craze, too. Oh, there's a Napster one. Does anybody remember Napster? Good old file sharing. Some prairie artisan ales right there. There's our dogfish head. They've been pretty slim on dogfish head. Every place I've been, they haven't had very much. There's our double IPA. Stone cold there. There's electric boogie. Some milk stouts down there. Left hand. Can't go wrong with those. Peanut butter. Ooh, yeah. More Anderson Valley stuff. There's some Rogue. Odd Sides. Bean Flicker. Coffee Blonde. I've never been a big fan of Odd Sides. Some Lacto Cooler. Now, this place does do keg fills. Here is the menu. I mean, sorry, Growler fills. Here's the menu for it. I don't they don't allow you to bring your own growler in as of right now you have to buy one of their glass ones um, which which kind of sucks um, they have this special filling station there that only fits grass glass growlers so if you have like uh, you know a fancier one or a pressurized one you have to get it in glass and then pour it into whatever vessel you want to which you know you don't want to do that because you're killing the carbonation on to the high-end bourbon section here. Um, you know, this is where they keep the anywhere from $80 bottles all the way up to five or six thousand dollars. I don't I'm not too familiar with a lot of these brands, these higher end brands. I'm familiar with that Oak and Eden. Um, I've seen their stuff everywhere. I just don't see a lot of people buying it. They have a gimmick to where they put an oak oak stave down into the, the bottle so it continues to age, supposedly, as it sits on the shelf. Some Whistle Pig. There's the 18. That's one I'd love to try. That one's on my list, the 18 year. It's another Nulu. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Nulu bourbon. So I'm not uh, Goodwood either. Goodwood's a beer company, but they do do bourbon as well. Um, not a fan of Goodwood. Some Bargetown Bourbon Company. Um, that one's pretty cool. So that is a... It's finished in KBS barrels. So KBS, the beer is finished in a bourbon barrel. So I guess they're aging the beer in the bourbon barrel. And then they're putting bourbon in it afterwards and continuing to age it further. So it'll be like a, th a third time around barrel.
Town Branch, you see those everywhere. Makers. Some Peerless. Now, if you're going to get a bottle, it's reasonable. Peerless is the way to go. I'm a big fan of Small Batch. They got it for $74 right there. But if you go to Total Wine, they get it for $64.99. Uh, it's worth every penny. I put it up there with two, three, four hundred dollar bottle of bourbon all day. Getting into the scotch. Now, I'll be honest with you all. I don't know too much about the scot scotch brands. And I think the same with most of the guys on the show. It's not something we uh, regularly drink, but we do uh, like to have a glass every once in a while. And generally, when we go to it, we do um, Johnny Walker Blue Label, Johnny Walker Gold, or we might have some Macallan 12-year, um, some Telemore Dew or something like that. Which, Telemore Dew is not scotch, it's Irish whiskey, but... So, Uncle Nearest, everybody keeps telling us to review this. Um, I'm just... The first thing that rubbed me the wrong way, they were calling themselves bourbon. And I know they had that thing um, a few years ago to where they allow any whiskey in the United States to be called bourbon. But I mean, up until those five years ago, it had to be in Kentucky. So, I don't know. I just think I'd rather them call it whiskey. I'm going through these sections kind of fast. Uh, I was getting some some weird looks in the store. And uh, eventually one of the uh, employees noticed me. And then he started following me around the store. So I was, I was getting a little nervous right here. So you can see me whipping the camera around a little bit more. Yeah, I have been kicked out of stores a few times trying to do these videos. So generally I pretend I'm doing FaceTime or something. And they leave me alone. I should probably start putting like a Bluetooth earpiece in or something, or headphones. That way it looks um, looks like I'm talking to somebody. Some Angel's Envy. So we haven't done an official review of Angel's Envy. Um, we actually did a beer festival probably very early on into the KBR channel, maybe eight years ago. And we did a uh, live tasting of Angel's Envy um, direct from one of their distillers. But uh, we haven't had it since then, honestly. I know Radar drinks Angel's Envy pretty regularly, but it's not something I go for. Got our benchmark. Got the top floor bonnet and foolproof there. Regular old benchmark, still $9.99 a bottle. Uh, Total Wine will get that for about $9.49 or sometimes $8.99. Um, pretty decent prices on those. Those can be hard to find from time to time. Some flat boat. There's our Woodford down there. More Woodford. There's our Jack Daniels. There's our old Forester. Early times. There's a wild turkey. They got a rye down there. I'd like to get my hands on the rye. Some old crow down there, some granddad. Beams eight star. <laughs> some Indago. Pretty solid. Getting to more, uh, Scotch and Irish whiskey here. Some proper 12. Now, I see that new proper 12 down there. Um, I didn't see it when I was there, but I'm noticing now in this video. I should probably pick one up. There's some Jameson up there. They got the orange, the cold brew, the stout edition, and that black barrel. We have not done the black barrel. like to get in on that one. More gin over here. There's that Seagram's Distillers uh, Reserve gin there. That's uh, what I recommend uh, to people that are just getting into gin here. Really good price and pretty solid. Good old Copper Creek gin. $11 for 1.75. Yeah, I'd avoid that one all day. Um, 
It's bad. Copper Creek's pretty rough. I mean, their vodka's also pretty rough. Got some Svetka gin there. I didn't even know Svetka made gin, and let alone flavored gin. Looks like they got, what is that, strawberry pineapple? Strawberry pineapple gin. I don't know how, how that would play out. Got our cognacs up here. Some Remy's and Hennies, you know, you know what to expect. On to the liqueurs. We got limoncello and we've got some chocolate liqueur. There's some raspberry liqueur. There's our Di Serono. More amaretto. Some chai cream liqueur. There's our tequila rose, the tequila cream. Pretty good, as long as it's extra cold. I don't even know what this is. Sorel liquor. Some rum chata. Can't go wrong with rum chata. Baileys. You ever drink Baileys from a shoot? Some bourbon cream. Some Ryan's cream. Here's our pucker. Now I will say, uh, Liquor Barn has a much better selection of pucker and liqueur liqueurs. Um, Total Wine only ever has maybe one or two bottles of pucker, and then they have their store brand um, schnapps, and they're not they're not that great. I I'd rather just get pucker. And Liquor Barn's always had the best selection of pucker, so that's why we go um, there to get that kind of stuff. There's a Twisted Tea Whiskey. Very good if you haven't tried it. Uh, if you're looking for something flavored and easy drinker, that Twisted Tea Whiskey can't, can't go wrong with it. Here's our bird dog flavors. Um, we've only done like maybe two or three of those flavors. I'd like to get back on though. There's our Hard Truth Peanut Butter. We'll have a review out of that soon or it might already be out depending on when I put this video up. Old Smokey. Um, I feel like Old Smokey's always been hit or miss with me. There's all our brunettes. You know what you're getting when you're buying Burnett's. And Pinnacle, only slightly better. UV, does anybody still buy UV vodka? Like, I didn't know they made orange UV. Oh, there's our Copper Creek again. Five, oh, 1149 for 1 1.75 vodka. That is not worth it. I mean, it, that stuff is rough. I wouldn't even put that stuff in jungle juice, to be honest. Smirnoff Zero Sugar Infusions. We haven't had those yet. I did pick up a Smirnoff uh, Peach Lemonade for review. Um, I got it at Total Wine for about $3 cheaper than here. About $9.99 at Total Wine. It's about $13 here. They do have a much better selection of flavored vodkas here than Total Wine as well. Here's our Nikolai. If you're going to buy cheap vodka, you get a 1.75 Nikolai for $10. And it'll get you where you need to go. Way better than Copper Creek. New Amsterdam's went up in price quite a bit in the past year or two. Some Svetka, if you're looking for a low to mid range um, vodka, you can't go wrong with Svetka. Ten ninety nine for a uh, fifth. They do have all the flavors. There's some Sky. There's our Grey Goose and our Belvedere. Some organic vodka. Here's some of our tequilas. Now, I was surprised to see that Santo and uh, Number One in the case for, like, high-end tequila. I guess because they're celebrity endorsed, maybe people steal them more. I don't know. Because I, I was seeing $150, $200 bottles just sitting on shelves. But for some reason, they have, like, you know, some of these in here. They're $50, $60 bottles locked up. Some more tequila over here. Pretty good selection of tequila. But I will say that, um, and I mentioned this quite a few times, but Total Wine does have a better selection of tequila than, than Liquor Barn. Some 
humidor right there. 1921. Jose. Ugh. Not a big fan of Jose Cuervo. The Cuervo traditional is bad, but it's passable. Regular Cuervo is almost undrinkable. There's our hard truth stuff. Some Malibu. Good old Malibu. Don't sleep on Pirates Bay for flavored uh, rum either. Pirates Bay stuff's really good. It's Captain Morgan's brand for their flavored clear rums. You know, if you're feeling cheap, Rondez is all right. Blue Cherry does, makes a really good coconut uh, cream, which I think that's a country singer. Is it Kidding Chesney or something? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with um, country. I apologize to you guys for all the uh, shaky footage and the, the uh, quick moving camera. Like I said, I was kind of getting followed around in the store and it was a little awkward. Um, I also did this voiceover in one take. So, you know, there might be a few errors or you might hear a dog barking in the background. But uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Um, and if you guys want more store videos, we can definitely do them. Just uh, leave a comment down below and let us know. I'm Special K and I'll see you guys later.